I have here me President Vervoort. Welcome here, dear members, uh, dear friends. Hearts uh, around the world are broken once again uh, over the tragedy that occurred in Brussels on the March 22nd. My deepest sympathies go to the people of Brussels, to the victims, and the many wounded uh, by uh, these uh, attacks, to their families and loved ones. I would also like to commend the security forces who are keeping us safe, as well as the emergency services and all those who have helped and continue to do so from now. It uh, warms my heart to see so many of you here today. The presence of you, uh, dear members, it's not only the sign of uh, EU's uh, determination, but also of our resilience. Uh, these attacks may have hit uh, Brussels today, Paris yesterday, but in Europe, this is Europe as a whole that has been targeted. We need to remember that. We will continue our work, face the terrorist uh, threat together, and bring European solutions to the questions that concern us all. We have to recognize there is a lot of work for us to do. Nonetheless, this cannot mean that life will stop we will live, we will love, and we will work. Terrorism only holds power through its ability to incite fear. These events may have deeply affected us, but let me very be uh, very clear. They will not frighten us. We will not surrender. I would like uh, us to remember not only the horrible image of what has happened but more importantly, the intrinsic uh, values of uh, who uh, we are as Europeans and the goodness uh, we carry within us. What stood out to me was the kindness of our people, Belgians, Europeans, all other nationalities alike, and how the uh, goodness shone a light on these dark times. We are Brussels and the world stands with us. The best cure uh, against hate and fear is understanding. Let's continue now more than ever to be open and tolerant, and more importantly, let's be good to each other. I propose now to hold a minute of silence for the victims of Brussels' attacks. Now. <laughs> 